we started a couple of three years ago with what we called a gathering, which uh, was an endeavour to take our city clubs out to where our country clubs were. We cover an area from um, Caratha down to Albany and east out here to the Goldfields. And uh, we've had a 150 odd out, which was brilliant. Well looked after by Eastern Goldfields. They've taken us on trips yesterday, all around the area. And even I was talking to people this morning that haven't been here, lived here 20 years ago, worked here. And they were really excited about seeing how things have changed and some things are still, still normal. So this weekend we've been looked after by the Goldfields Motorcycle Club. It is a club, isn't it? Yeah. They've been really brilliant. And as you can see, looking from the things and the other photos that have come through, it is an absolutely wonderful place to be. This started about 12 months ago. Came, well, February, January, February, came up here to see what to do. And then from there it's evolved. Um, the club's... Um, let us know how many are coming, whether you, they want the dinner, the quiz night and all the rest of it. And I'd like to thank all the clubs for their contributions, for um, letting me know what's, what their club's doing. Um, and other than that, it's, there's quite a bit involved, but we've managed to get through. And a special thanks to Bruce Dixon from Eastern Goldfields, who has been at the end of the phone when, uh, wherever I've wanted him. The Motorcycle Club have been fantastic and we're very grateful to them. They got us out of a bit of a situation on Saturday night, but other than that, everything's fine. Um, yeah, as um, four-wheel drivers, we're always look, looking for new areas to uh, come out and try our vehicles and most of the trips had uh, a good, good range of four-wheel driving. Um, I did um, up near Orobanda and a place called uh, Car uh, Carney Chill. Um, only four of us out of uh, 12 vehicles made it up the top, and uh, there was only two punches on the way through. Um, fantastic scenery, fantastic country, and bloody great company, and that's what it's all about. And the best thing about coming up to Kalgoorlie, you can say you go to the brothel, and no one's gonna get in trouble. <laughs> in a club, you can sort of get stuck in the same rut of doing things time and time again. Uh, they are enjoyable, but they start getting a bit long in the tooth. And activities like this, you start, you know, you, we've got a big campfire around there and you have a bit of a few bevies and start talking about different trips. And, and I think I've come up with about 18 this weekend where I can go back to my club and say, right oh, well, this is what we can do for the next couple of years instead of the same old, same old. And uh, the other one I get out of is uh, talking to different people. Um, again, you've got a uh, huge variety of age, age group on every club and uh, again you get different um, opinions on a lot of things and it's good to either be shouted at or shout at them as well, so it's all good. G'day guys, uh, I'm Ray, uh, I'm uh, Jan's offsider, I uh, do what I can as far as these uh, gatherings are concerned. And uh, I just like to put my little bit in outside of being um, a member of the uh, committee. Uh, I get my enjoyment out of these trips by uh, helping the committee. They do a great job. This is our uh, third gathering that the associations run over the period of time. We were, first one was Albany. This one here this year. Uh, last year we were at um, uh, Chapman Valley. This year we're here up in Kalgoorlie. Next year, uh, it's going to be a big one. It's uh, in the uh, school holidays this time of the year, and we're on our way up to uh, Caratha. Now, we're going to have our host club up there. It's going to be uh, Red Dog. So the idea is, with these gatherings, is for the association to get together, intermingle, get a bit of camaraderie around through the place, uh, which we did this weekend. Uh, we came up here, or we had the uh, quiz night last night, we uh, had a big band playing Saturday night. We had a uh, candlelight dinner, which was uh, great. A lot of hilarity, uh, great weekend. And yesterday, Sunday, uh, the uh, Eastern Goldfields uh, Forward Drive Club organized five trips where all the, all the members went out in different tracks around uh, the golf fields and had a look at the, uh, the local places. Yeah, so the idea of this thing is to just keep the association together, get their friends together, make friends, and uh, and get those bonds together. So 
what we want to do with these things is uh, try and get a bit bigger as an association. We are the governing body that uh, uh, talks to the government and local governments and the uh, conservation groups. And so the more members we get together, the more members we get involved, then the stronger we become as an association. So this is what it's all about. And I thank the people that come up here. I know I do. I've enjoyed it. As I say, I've been involved for probably about 30 odd years now in the uh, forward driving scenario. And uh, it just goes from strength to strength. And, and you end up uh, meeting more and more people. And these are the sort of places where you do it. So uh, this morning we had a, uh, a uh, breakfast. We put uh, the association put a breakfast on. Uh, we had a good gathering. We had the boats, the bush boat. We've uh, got a bush boat that we. Uh, find around the, the local area and he was in this morning and he uh, I think the, uh, the people that were here this morning enjoyed it. Um, they get up to some uh, quite some uh, hilarious lyrics, uh, they're good to listen to. Really really got to thank the Goldfields Motorcycle Club for what they've put on for us. They worked hard, fed us, watered us, watered us. Uh, a magnificent facility to come out, the meals were great. And they entertained us with the little kids out on the motor on the motorbikes around the track. That was good as well. Uh, the rest of it's good. It's great to get people out here, and I continue to be amazed at the size of the caravans that some of my fellow four wheel drive club members have. Given that I have a tent and a swag. So today we've got our day trips for the four wheel drive association gathering. Uh, six trips in all. I'm leading one of the trips out to Orobanda, up Mount Carnage, into Thiel, old Thiel mine, and yeah, generally around the tracks at Orobanda. There's a, a few new washouts and rocky sections from recent rains, so yeah, it should be, should be interesting. Oh, excellent, mate. That's cool. I like those sort of uh, rocky hills, and yeah, it was good. Uh, the earlier mishap was probably the vehicle's ride height, but the driver was uh, may have taken it the wrong way as well. <laughs> Everybody down there, unless you've got a brave heart, stick to the middle one.